Um, good um, evening, good guys. Hello. Good, good evening, evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, we do. Or I yes, do. there you go. Hi. Good evening, everybody. How are you? How are you doing today? Good evening. Very good good evening. Good evening. Welcome. So. Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Mr. Bella, good evening. I see um, Ms. Eraso, too. Uh, Maria Elena, good evening. Hello, Mario. Hello. Uh, Juan Carlos, good evening, guys. How you doing? I see Norma, Nelson, Susana, and Wendy. Oh, very nice attendance. Um, so good evening, guys. Wendy, good evening. Great to see you as well. Hi, guys. How are you? Welcome to intermediate number six, the last intermediate of this program. And then we are going, you know, straight into advanced level. How do you feel, guys? How you doing? Are you ready? Do you feel, I don't know, excited, nervous? Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> Proud, very proud. Oh, proud, I like that word. Okay. A little nervous. <laughs> Amazing, nervous. Why do you feel nervous? Because we need to, to learn a lot in so many times. Oh, that, that is super, super normal. No worries about it. And um, you know, I'm here, guys, actually, to help you in the process, right? Um, to help you a little bit, to guide you there, and hopefully. We are going to get to advanced level uh, in no time. So you're going to get where you need to be. So it is really, really amazing to, uh, to see you. I'm trying to identify faces that I know, but I don't see any. <laughs> OK, so and it, and it is totally fine. Um, so well, Norma, I see that you I think that you are on your way home. Uh, thank you so much for your camera. Please be careful, right? And. And thank you so much for connecting, you know, in, in the, this brief period of time. It's super, super nice. Uh, Tatiana, good evening. Great to see you there. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Yes, I think I see the same people. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to give me just a moment. Oh, yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Um, guys, uh, before getting started, just I will ask you to uh, if you can help us with your full name as Mr. Bella has, right? Um, because some records attendance and uh, we want to make sure that your attendance is recorded properly and we don't have, um, imagine you're here and Zoom doesn't have your record of the attendance. So that is not going to be good news, right? So uh, I don't know if you are familiar with Zoom, I don't know if you're familiar how to change the name or your full name into Zoom. So you can go to participants, uh, you can um, rename, right, your camera, or you can go to the three little points that is in the menu of your camera, and you can change your name over there. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And, you know, so we can be ready for that. Um, so Mario, if you can help me, uh, that would be super, super nice. Um, Christia, I don't know if your name is Christia or Christina. So <laughs> if you help me, please. Yeah. Christia. Oh, Christia. Yeah, oh yeah. interesting. Okay, it's not a common name, definitely. So if you can no. help me, that would be nice. It's super, super nice. All right, guys. So I really like listening that you feel proud to be here, you know, proud that you have gotten, uh, that you have moved forward so much and definitely it's a big effort i know um from eight to ten is not an easy schedule it's not an easy thing to do but but i'm super happy you know that you have gotten so far and that you will be moving on into advanced level which is super super amazing uh a quick question guys before we get into practice before we start uh you know reviewing some vocabulary um when was the last time when did you finish the previous module was it recently the last, was it last week the last, yes. the last week oh mm, okay yes, okay amazing week. okay amazing you didn't have to waste so much okay okay perfect that is really good news because that means that you have everything super fresh 
uh, and just it's not going to be that hard. Okay, 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 perfect, super, super. All right, guys. Uh, so let me introduce myself before I get started with your oh, with your introduction. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm presenting something. Uh, excuse that's... me. Excuse me. I last uh, five five months <laughs> to finish my course in English. Five months. Five, five months. Yes. So the last time that you practiced English was uh, five months ago. Uh, no, no. Or what I do you know. mean? Uh, it's a little, it's a, it's a basic, basic uh, conversation. I listen music in English. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but, mm -hmm. but in the previous module, were you together, were you in the same group? Were you here with these guys? Yes. It's oh, okay. a full, final year, it's a, Five, five mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. In Apple, Apple. Uh, okay, so but you have been mm -hmm. with them. I understand, right? So you oh, have been, yes. or is or Susana, is this your first module in English Corporativo? No, no. Mm -hmm. It's uh, last uh, five months ago. I understand. Uh, yes, yes. So you retook your classes uh, six months ago. Yes, it's uh, my 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 last uh, course is a uh, five five, five months ago. Level. Five level, uh huh. But it's in uh, in April. April. In the English corporative. Five months. Five that months. was intermediate. Intermediate number five. Yes. Oh, got it, got it now. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. six months. Hmm, but you, but but it's six months ago, so it hasn't been, you know, that long either. So I think that in a way we just need to refresh. We just need to practice, and you will be fine. So you will okay. be alright. Um, Sylvia, good evening. Okay. Welcome. Uh, let me see, Mr. Palma. Good evening. Welcome to. Uh, Maria Elena, good evening, Mr. Valle. Hello, great to see you. Okay, okay, very nice. I really like the attendance, right, guys? And I really like your that you have your cameras on. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, let me introduce myself, guys. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been requested to present to introduce myself, and then um, we just get to know you a little bit. This is me. I don't look like <laughs> it looks like a little bit of um, photoshopping to that, but this is me. Um, so I have been working for English Corporativo for about five or six years, and uh, I have a bachelor degree in English teaching, and I have some experience working at a university level. Also, I have worked with Insafor program for about six or seven years. And uh, pretty much I think that that summarizes all my experience. I have been a teacher for about 10 or something like that. So 10 years or something like that. Um, and guys, it is a real pleasure to be with you, uh, to be helping or guiding you or, you know, uh, in this process, right? And definitely I hope we can make the best of you and the best of it. Um, and we can take advantage of the two hours that we are going to be practicing every single day. Um, to kind of set uh, the mood here, I would like to mention the way I like to work, especially with intermediate and advanced levels, um, because I know that you are going to be jumping from one level to another. I know that um, we need more, right? We need definitely uh, more vocabulary, we need more practice. So the way I like to handle this is the following. Uh, I don't work with grammar that much, right? Uh, grammar is more as homework, right? Uh, it's more for you to complete one or two exercises. Uh, so please do not expect to work much uh, uh, like super, super long grammar exercises. That is going to be mostly done as homework. Uh, I like to work a lot with vocabulary because I know that in intermediate, we need words. We need words to connect what we, whatever we want to say. I like to work a lot with pronunciation and I like to do a lot of exercises that can develop fluency, right? 
that can make us think faster, uh, that can make us uh, lose the fear that we normally have of speaking English. Because at this point, you know the thing, you know how to communicate, you know the tenses, you know simple present, you know simple past. So we will not uh, stop much into that. We are going to just try to develop um, one, communication skills, and two, the confidence that we need to communicate. Um, so, and uh, listening is one of the activities that because of um, um, a, a sort of band that we have with YouTube, you know, normally we don't work in listening, but we are gonna try to find a way to work with listening here. Um, so we can work on that, that is super important as well. Uh, guys, this is intermediate. Um, I just got a question for you and, and I want to have this, you know, um, like in a sort of policy with everybody. Are you okay if we speak only English? Are you fine with that? Are you good? Or do you feel that you still need like English or Spanish? And I really, I'm, I'm super honest with you. If you feel more comfortable a little bit with a little bit of Spanish, I'm okay. But I would say, let's try to work with English, English. Let's try to push it. Let's try to go for it, right? Probably uh, my pronunciation, probably the way I speak right now, it's going to be like, oh my God, <laughs> um, overwhelming because you are not used to listening to me. Uh, this is the first time you listen to me and I speak a lot and everything. But little by little, your ear uh, will get used to it, the way people speak. So are you okay if we go English, English? Yes, for it's me it's better. Yes. Yes. For me, it's okay. I think we have to practice, and the best way is only speaking English. I think. Yeah. Super. Okay. Super. Super. We I like that. that you say. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. And we okay. understand your pronunciation and everything. To yes. Yes, Miss. Super. Okay. Super, guys. Amazing. Because, yeah, definitely, you know, you're intermediate, but but sometimes we still feel like, oh, I need a Spanish. Okay. <laughs> but just speak Spanish every, you know, every day, all day long. So I think two hours just of English are not going to be that bad. Um, okay. So having that clear, that's super. So we're going to get started with English, full English, right? Uh, let's try to keep Spanish just for... Um, Probably little explanations, probably just one word that we don't get at all in English, one word that we don't really understand the meaning. Okay. And that is one thing. Second thing, guys, um, I know you're tired. I know, um, well, I see one person is still commuting home and I truly appreciate the effort you're making to be here, you know, to connect to classes, to join and everything. But um, in the sense of, Participation, guys, I really expect you to participate, right? I really expect you to um, speak as much as possible, to uh, take advantage of the two hours that you're going to be here. I know that it is okay. Sometimes we are busy. We have work to do. We have homework. We have university. But guys, uh, please try to connect to classes. Try to just listen if you're going to be listening, but try to be here, right? So. Even if you listen to 10 minutes of classes, that is going to help a lot with our speaking, with our listening, with our vocabulary. So please participate as much as possible. Um, I like to have my camera on and I, I, I thank you for having your cameras on because I can see like Mr. Palma there. Um, and when the screen is black, I'm like, ah, no, Maria Elena fell asleep. <laughs> so that's the first thing that comes to me or uh, that someone is not there. So if you can have your cameras on, that would be like super great. That would be just amazing. Um, and I think that's it, guys. So uh, today, because we are just kind to uh, trying to set a uh, mood on, vocabulary on, I'm getting used to the way you speak. I need to listen to the way you speak. I need to um, see what we need to work on. We are going to be working a little bit with um, some vocabulary vocabulary construction, definition making. Um, I think that you know, and you're not going to let me lie, that um, the material we have is kind of short, I would say. Uh, so the manual is not uh, helping us that much in the sense of developing some vocabulary that we use in everyday life. 
So mm -hmm. we are going to try to have uh, the manual on a side. We are going to work on some specific exercises. Uh, but guys, please don't, don't be afraid in the sense that probably if we don't complete one exercise from the manual, it is not going to be the end of the world, right? We are just going to skip it and we are going to try to include other activities um, that can make us speak more or that can help us with fluency or, or pronunciation. So that is something I just want you to, to have in mind that probably we will not be completing every single exercise that is in the manual, right? Probably we are going to skip some and some other exercises are going to be um, assigned as a homework, right? So, um, okay. Guys, I, I like speaking a lot, but not, that's not going to be the case. It's just the intro. <laughs> okay, but I'm super excited to, to, to be here. I'm super excited and I have a lot of expectations of Intermediate 6, uh, especially because you are jumping. So I'm like, oh yes, they're gonna be a dance next month. So they gotta work it out. So guys, let's work it out. <laughs> okay. Um, I have just this little activity here because uh, I would like to listen to you guys. I would like to listen to a little piece of information. I know that probably some of you have been together for 10 months, a year, more than a year. But in general, um, can you give us a piece of information, um, probably something you like that nobody knows, or probably something that you don't like that nobody knows? Um, I'm good with your name. I'm good with the way you like to be called, that's okay, or your nickname if you prefer. Um, and something you like or yeah. something you don't really like and why. So, any volunteer? Hi, Guadalupe. Morning, I was going to say, oh my God. <laughs> so that's good evening. Okay, uh, do I have any volunteer? I don't bite. <laughs> so I don't bite, I don't chew, I don't eat. Um, yes, Tatiana, thank you so much. And then I think I saw Mr. Bella. So. Let's go with you. Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, well, my name is Tatiana. Uh, I'm, I have been here for, I think, since April. Mm -hmm. And something I like, I like dance, I think. Oh, nice. And, and I really hate when I have to wake up early and I have to do it every day. So... I don't like <laughs> wake up early. Oh, but what do I you start mean? To, I start to work at 5 a.m. So that's why I don't like. <laughs> but I that's have to do it. Early. Yes. Where do you work? I work at Telus International. Oh. Uh, and at that time, I start my shift. So I have to do it. Super early. Wow. Yeah. Um, what's the main reason, Tatiana, why you're here? Because I understand that if you're at Telus, it's because uh, you work in an English account, I, I believe. Uh, actually, the account is 15% uh, in Spanish and the other 15% uh, is in English. So my I really like to 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 change uh mm -hmm. for english account so that's oh. why i'm trying to improve my english so mm. that is the reason all right what what is um the skill that you consider that you are um that is your weakness at, the, at this very moment are you uh, struggling with listening with speaking uh, no i don't have any problem with listening or or I understand actually, but I know, I think I have a little problem with grammar. So that's why, and when I have to speak, sometimes I feel so uh, kind of nervous. So I think that is my problem. Um, uh, but I, I read, I, I, I understand, uh, but I think that is a problem. Grammar and a little bit, little, little bit of speaking. Mm, yeah okay or as you said probably because you feel kind of nervous so your um your mind blocks right so you go blank and you have no idea how to say things all right okay cool thank you so much Tatiana so the dancing girl that that'll be um Mr. Bella let's go with you and then we'll go with Maria Elena good evening everybody hi good evening my name is Jorge Vela. You can call me Jorge. Okay. I'm a civil engineer. Oh, nice. I work in self. 
Okay. And I I want to improve my skills to to speak English to All be right. able to be able to to get a, a new opportunity inside the the company. Oh. Uh, I like to run. I like to to get to sleep. Okay. And traveling when I can, I, I go out. I like to, to fly. Oh, very nice. Sounds amazing. Um, so Mr. Bella, it means that you have inside your company opportunities if you improve your English? Yes, definitely, because we we work with a lot of companies that that uh, came for other countries like Canada, US, and North. Oh, all right, all right. And the English is the necessary, almost mm -hmm. the universal language. Okay, so at this very moment, what do you consider uh, you need more practice on? So uh, are you uh, having issues communicating or listening, grammar, pronunciation? I, I understand pretty good the, all that you say, but when oh, nice. I want to, to speak, I have a lot of issues because I, most of the time, I'm, I'm thinking in, in Spanish. In Spanish, I, okay. So you're I, translating. I need to translate. Oh, okay. Almost everything. That's okay. Okay. No worries. We can work on that. All right. All right. Yeah, that happens a lot, right? And the thing yes. is that when you uh, speak English, it's okay if you think in Spanish. But the thing is that if you try to translate everything, ooh, we make a lot of mistakes, and that that's, is for sure. All right. That's, that's nice. a problem, and I need to 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 be able to connect the the sentence because. Mm. Uh, Sometimes I maybe I get nervous and I forgot what what I want to say. Okay, okay, but that sounds alright. Okay, but but so far what I've heard is so uh, you communicate pretty nicely. All right, thank you, George. Nice meeting you, uh, Miss Peñate. Let's go with you. Hi, good evening. Hello. Oh, my name is Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñata Cobar. But... I have a long name. <laughs> How do you like to be called? Um, Maria Elena. Okay, okay. It's okay. Um, I am a nutritionist. I am working uh, in the old, um, in San Vicente. And I'm traveling to San Vicente all days. And Wednesday, I am going. Mm -hmm. Alegría, Thursday and Friday. Wow. And I am interconnected because um, the journal is large. My manager say now um, the, of the 8 a.m. beginning and and the maybe 10. <laughs> I don't know. PM. Yes. So um, your shift. Thursday and Friday. This wow, your shift are three super three. extent. Eso three, this, this three days, yes. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, thank you for mentioning that because do you have difficulties connecting to classes those three days? Three days, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Thank you so week. much for mentioning that. Wow, you're going to be listening to classes. Yes, please. Yes, if it is possible, you know, come and join us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I am like, um, all my life I have an exercise. I am play football, volleyball. Mm -hmm. I am play soccer. Mm -hmm. I am, I don't know, how do you say it? Escalar. Hiking. So you all climb mountain climbing, uh huh. Mountain okay. climbing. Okay. Okay. Sounds mm -hmm. nice. But I am um, learning uh, in motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Ten years ago, and one years ago, I uh, have an accident, and I oh. am at the moment 
how the mood or something. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I know the feeling. So I fell yeah. down for a motorcycle. I don't want to ride it again. <laughs> well, yeah, I totally get the feeling. All right. Thank you so much. I, I'm sorry. I think I be, I missed that part. How, how do you prefer to be called? Is Maria, Elena, or Guadalupe, or Lupita? So what do you normally prefer? Maria Elena. Maria Elena is fine. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Maria Elena. Um, let me go with Christian. And nice meeting you, by the way. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Um, my name is Christian Eraso, and I'm glad to be here again. Um, I don't know about the language. I want to improve all my skills because I think I have some issues with my listening sometimes okay. yes but um i think right now i'm okay but i need to improve that because currently i'm working with a, a repair station in usa i'm working oh. in Aeroman, and oh, and nice. all week i have meetings with american people Oh. Uh, so it's not uh, the same uh, listen to American people to listen to you, right? I don't know if you you can yes. I totally get you, yes. So yeah. the accent, the speed, the comfort with the language is totally different. Uh-huh. Yes, oh. and they speak so fast. And sometimes for me, it's difficult to understand. Mm, uh, okay. But I, I try and I, and I do my, my best. <laughs> and mm. well, about my job, I'm production planner in the Ironman and mm -hmm. I am a business administrator and, mm. and that's all. <laughs> for oh, me. All right, all right. Yes. Yeah, it caught my attention your name because it's not uh, like, I would say a common name. So is, is Christia or Natalie okay for you? Uh, for me, it's Christia. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sounds really nice. And I'm super glad, guys, because uh, so far what I've heard, so you, you are in contact, you know, with the language. So part of your job requires that you speak English. So I'm like, okay, these guys, you know, they have one important resource there that is speaking to native people, you know, communicating real English. So nice. Sounds really cool. Um, Mr. Palma, let's go with you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, nice to meet you, teacher. Nice meeting you too. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, I I'm, I'm here because I I, I need to improve <laughs> everything in general, teacher. All right. Okay. <laughs> but I I do my best effort uh, for uh, uh, the listening. Okay. Uh, and also uh, in the speaking, because when I I have a lot of ideas in my mind to to tell you to tell about you uh, for for anything, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the ideas uh, uh, fly <laughs> in my brain. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but okay. yes, I, I need I need uh, enough uh, to have a uh, vocabulary. Mm, to okay. uh, to have a, a all a clear to communicate with other people. Uh, I my name is uh, Manuel Palma. Uh, mm. You can call me Manuel, Mr. Oh. Palma. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, I work for Deloitte El Salvador. Uh, uh, I am. Uh, I am in charge of the mayor department, okay. and I I was working in this in the same company for fifteen years. Wow! Yes, nowadays um, I am um, I'm glad to for be in this class uh, because I like the the these languages. Uh, uh, in my company. Um, Maybe uh, uh, will be required. Uh, yes, required, but it's, it's in, in personal. Oh, okay. I, so it is your personal goal. Yes, personal. Yes. 
Okay, okay, sounds okay. nice. That sounds really good. So that you can, uh, that you would like to learn, you know, the language just because. Yes. Okay, sounds really, really cool. All right, thank you, Mr. Palma. Um, mm -mm, let me see, I see more people. Hi, Diana, good evening. Let's go with you, Diana. What can you tell me about yourself? Okay. Uh, the first thing that I don't like is to be called Diana. <laughs> ah, okay. So what do you prefer? I prefer Diana. Oh, okay. Okay. Diana, right. case, but <laughs> Diana. Oh, it's okay. Um, what else? Uh, I am a psychologist. I work mm. in Web Help. It's a call center, and that is one of the motives because why I am here in this class because uh, my position is in Spanish, but I can get a certificate to become a bilingual so increase my my salary too <laughs> oh definitely that is what everybody's yes. looking for <laughs> okay. yes and um the truth is that i always want to learn english i studied in two places where you work <laughs> i first oh. started in in prolingua institute oh. i was there okay. for a year and then i was in the um, ah, okay for like two years, but then the pandemic happened. Um, I know. And, and then, well, uh, my job gave me this opportunity here. So uh -huh. I I think I have two levels here. Uh, this is the third. Oh, all right. Sounds amazing. Okay. Well, I didn't work at Sunny West, oh. <laughs> but I'm super glad to find somebody who, who studied, you know, for Lingwasser. I was there a couple of years ago. Probably I saw you, you know, like, Passing by or something. When did you study there? Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> In 2011. 2011. Well, actually, I started working in Prolingua in 2010. So <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you. So thank you, Diana. Right. I'll get that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Claudia, let me go with you. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Nice to meet you, teacher. In nice to meet you. I like to call Claudia, and mm -hmm. um, uh, I am an industrial engineer. I work in a factory in a food development yeah. in the department of engineer. Mm -hmm. And also, I like to improve my speaking because I think in English I know what I can, what I ha what I have to say, but I can say it. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. And uh, also, I like to read. And oh, cool. I like spending my in my home <laughs> with my family. Okay, just that. that sounds good. You know uh, what 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 you just said reminds me of a meme. So I don't know if you're familiar with memes. I love memes. Um, <laughs> there is one that says the English that is in my head is not the, and the English that is outside my my mouth. So yeah. something like that. Oh, so I don't know why, but it relates a lot to that. <laughs> I, I get that. That is super common. Um, but it is just a matter of practice. So it's just putting out what you have in your brain, right? <laughs> Trying to communicate that. So thank you so much, Claudia. Nice meeting you. I'm missing a couple more. Wendy, let me go with you. Then I think we can have Sylvia. Uh, Wendy? Sorry, teacher. I, no worries. I feel a little sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is that a cold? Uh, probably. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, only, only a little tired. <laughs> No, oh, okay. Mm, or well, hopefully it's nothing yeah, serious. I like in my case, I like work. <laughs> you like to work. I like Are you work. a workaholic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? It's my, it's my favorite. <laughs> Your hobby. <laughs> Um, how and many hours? I, I work. I work in a in a travel in a travel agent. And oh. it's very uh, stressful, but mm -hmm. uh, um, 
communicate with communicate communic uh with the public um, and the customers is they they uh, their their travel mm -hmm. for reason of their travel and is funny okay. and and a form I I make form or for visa or American visa. Oh, so you help with the process, yeah. like filling out the, yeah. the, the paperwork. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And nice. And for, for me, it's funny. And oh, that is extra. Oh, and. Other other activity is uh other activity I like so much. Um, I learn uh, Bible. No, I I teach Bible. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. oh okay. So are you like um, in a religious in, community? Yeah. Yes, in the Christian church. Oh, okay. 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 Nice. I Sounds like really cool. It. Yes. Uh, yeah, like child, very funny. <laughs> it sounds like you I, have a busy I, schedule. I, I child, I shall, I, um, <clears throat> how do you say, convert, como se convierte en niño. Oh, you become, you become a child again. Mm -hmm. Become a child too. <laughs> oh, okay. But, but that sounds actually so very that nice. Song, that sounds, the game. Mm -hmm. and the the Easter Bible evangelist mm -hmm. evangelist evangelistic. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Sounds amazing. I don't like. I don't like. Um. Uh, in my life, I don't like um, it. <laughs> You don't like eating, but eat, but eat the food. I like I like it. Eat other other things, for example, uh, uh, breakfast. I like breakfast. Uh, okay, so what I is? Like, I'm sorry. I, like, I think example, I missed that. I don't like. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't like take a breakfast or or dinner or formal. You don't like having formal breakfast or formal dinner. Yeah. So yeah. you just have I a snack? I don't I don't like. Yes. Oh. I love it snack. <laughs> oh, okay. But, that is yeah. new for me. <laughs> okay, that's new for me, but that sounds all right. Okay. Thank you so much, Wendy. And I hope you feel better. So I really hope you get better. Oh, that's really bad, especially with the weather changes. We got allergies and everything. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm taking the time, you know, with everybody because I really want to listen to your voice. I really need to identify your voices and uh, your tones and everything. So I think I haven't heard many men. <laughs> Sylvia, let's go with you. Then we go with Mr. Gavarrete. So Sylvia, hello. Good evening. Evening. How you doing, Miss? Um, I I am a lawyer and I live in Chilchuapa, and and I work I have worked in a financial company from uh, for fifteen years, and I. I like to visit the sea mm -hmm. and I don't like a, a noisy place. Okay. Uh, how noisy? Like a concert? Hmm? How noisy? Uh, you mentioned that you don't like noisy places. So, but how mm -hmm. noisy? Like going to San Salvador City in the middle of the day? Or you're talking about like a concert? Um, yes, it, the when the when the there are 
there are so much people talking. Okay. I don't like it. No, okay, okay, got that. All right, thank you so much, Sylvia. Is Sylvia okay or Suleyma? Either. Suleyma. Oh, okay, Suleyma, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Suleyma. Mr. Gaurete, let's go with you. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? Hello, my name is Nelson Gabarrete Merino. I like to be try uh, Gabarrete. Okay. I go I go and visit technology. Uh, I am a college manager. Okay. I live in the city of Apopa. Okay. And I like, pardon, I like a Christian music. Mm -hmm. I uh, visit the cruise every day. I don't, I don't know how to learn much English. Uh, I buy no worries. I like. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's all right. That is what matters by the end of the day, that you really like it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you so much. And nice meeting you. I'm missing a couple more. Norma, let me go with you. And then I'll go with uh, Mr. Juan Carlos, are you going to be a listener for the rest of the module or only today? Only today, teacher. Only today. But in the rest of the module, uh, are you a listener or are you a participant? Only today, I hope so. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. No, I'm asking because of oh, because you have the word oyente, but normally that word um, is para quienes eh, no están dentro, you know, del, del grupo, but that, that's my question. So, pero si está registrado, right? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, perfect. So, podemos quitarle el oyente. So, we, in that case, we can eliminate the word oyente. That's okay, okay. no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Um, so, let me go with, I'm sorry, Norma, please go ahead. Good evening. Everyone. Hello. Good evening. My name is Norma Villeda. I am business administrator. I work for a furniture store. And one of the thing I like is listen to music and watch movies. Okay. Uh, what, I, what I don't like is scary, movie, uh, scary movies. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't like the, the scary movies with the costume or like horror in general? Horror, exorcist. Ah, okay, so no, ah, okay. Um, drinks, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me neither, I'm not into that. All right, thank you, Norma, mm. thank you so much for that. I'm missing, let me see, let me see. So, uh, Mr. Baye, did we listen to you? I think we did, all right? Mario? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hold on, wait. That, that's all right. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Mario Valle. Um, sorry. Uh, no worries. Uh, this is my my first time on the on the program. Ah, oh, all right. So welcome. I'm just uh, just joining the the program. I I, I saw. Uh, uh in the uh social media uh, oh just so bad yeah and okay i applied for that uh, and my company gave me the the opportunity actually i i'm working as a, a chips agent i work in the chips agency and i normally uh, I speak with the uh, people in English, but I feel comfort uh, here, uh, hear you because uh, I speak with uh, people from different countries. Uh, That's super cool. All right. Yeah. Nice. Uh, sometimes it's, it's hard to me uh, speak with uh, with them uh, because uh, especially with the uh with the the countries that uh are not uh uh the the, the english uh speakers i mean uh, i speak with uh 
Philippines word. Uh, okay. Chinese and Indian, everything. So all of them has different accents. Yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, when you say that you work for a chip company, yeah, do you provide support? Yeah, no, um, I'm the I'm the agent of the uh, um, vessels uh, that arrive to a Kahoot report. I'm actually I'm working in a Kahoot report. So do you work in a shipping company? Yeah. Oh, that's shipping. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So you move containers, logistics, and everything. Uh, actually, the all the the vessels that we attend are for uh, not for containers, but are uh, bull carriers, uh, tankers, and almost all of, all the the kind of vessels, uh, but not container. Uh, mm -hmm. Neither uh, row row vessel. So. Oh wait, where do you work? Do you work in in Acajutla? Yeah, I worked in the Acajutla port. Yeah. No kidding. I'm a marine. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a seafarer. So. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like what? <laughs> yeah, I'm a certified. So sounds pretty good, you know. So yeah, so right now that you just mentioned like vessels and all of those things, I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you talking about like containers? That's my dream to work in a container. So oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, you know, I'm totally crazy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's super cool. It's super cool. Um, and thank you so much for joining. So welcome. And uh, really nice to know um, we have somebody like from your area coming here. Um, just a quick question. Um, what what do you think is your weakness in English, or what, what is the main reason why you decided to to apply for this program? Uh, I guess the the my weakness, uh, probably, um, I guess is my vocabulary, because mm -hmm. I sometimes when normally when I speaking with the or trying to explain something, okay. Uh, Sometimes I'm short of, of, of word. Okay. So that's why I enroll uh, on this because so, I want to improve this. I, I know that uh, I'm doing by myself uh, before uh, reading uh, and uh, listening, but I like uh, the music. I like to listen to music, but I guess that reading uh is the best way i i guess is the best way to uh to improve the vocabulary to to get uh, new words and sometimes i i'm do it but also i need to 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 know the the pronunciation and, and also uh, i guess is the the grammar the part of the grammar i guess okay. is is the normal that we sometimes we use even in the Spanish we use the the grammar but we don't know uh what exactly is gotcha but when you say vocabulary uh I heard you mention a lot of technical vocabulary so you're talking about everyday vocabulary in that case yeah maybe everyday vocabulary uh okay. because for for technical vocabulary I know that uh, I you know only the terms. Mm -hmm. to to speak with the uh, with the people in, in mm -hmm. my in my area. Yeah, you handle the, the technical vocabulary. Okay, <laughs> okay, pretty cool. So nice, nice. Uh, so welcome. Thank you so much. What do you prefer, Jose or Mario? What's the uh, best? Prefer? I'm because with Mario, normally okay. all the person uh, called you that way. First to me, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you so much, Mario. Uh, let me see, let me see. I'm sorry, Christia, I saw your, uh, you raised your hand, so tell me, miss. Yes, I forgot uh, to mention something about, about me. Uh, oh, please. All, all the, all, well, well, I'm studying a master in business administrator oh. and um, all Tuesdays I have classes. Uh, that's the reason. That's why uh, all Tuesday I I joined to this class. Uh, As a listener. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, and oh. and I talk with the administrator of this of mm -hmm. this class, and right. they are uh, agree. They are aware of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, no problem. Yes, I mean, uh, or if you can, the thing is that, um, you know, the program is kind of, uh, or in support, it's kind of picky on that, I would say. So attendance is mandatory, uh -huh, but yes. if you can join as listener, you know, you can turn off your camera and, and I'm going to take that into account that for all Tuesdays, you're going to be off for a couple of minutes. All right, okay. thank you so much. Same thing goes for uh, Maria Elena, I believe. So she mentioned something related to that. All right, uh, yes, Mario. Yeah, sorry, now, uh, now I, I hear Christian and also, me, I'm a study uh, in the university, so uh, I have two days, I guess it's uh, Tuesday and, and Wednesday, I guess. Mm -hmm. I have uh, one and a half or one and a half hour that I need to attend that class uh, because it's also online. So. Mm, okay. If uh, it's in your possibilities or if it's in your hands, um, to join classes, right? Uh, so you, you can just turn off the camera and uh, stay here as a, as a listener. That would be all right, you know? Um, so at the end of the program, the, the attendance is not affected, right? Because okay, insofar sometimes monitor classes and the, they want to make sure that the person that has been enrolled is the one who is receiving a, and is participating in the program. So that would be all right. I mean, there is not like a big issue that that wouldn't be a problem. Just I will ask you, you know, for your attendance. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, thank you. Perfect. So Christian, Mario, Mario Elena. All right, thank you guys. Um, I think I'm missing somebody. I think I'm missing a boy. Susanna, did we listen to you? I think we didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Uh -huh. Hi, hello. so you're staying away. <laughs> Tell me this. Hi. But excuse me, but in, in I I don't I don't. Uh, Are you in your way home? Are you home uh, already? It's a uh, out at work, but oh. it's a uh, in a stay by <laughs> pick up my my song. <laughs> Oh, but okay. I don't, I don't in, in at home. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But are you driving? Uh, no, no, no. It's oh. the moment not. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. My name is Susana Ortiz. Uh, I am a accountant. Uh, I live in Mexicano. All right. Um, I like uh, uh, listen to music. Uh, I dancing. Uh, in the moment, I like it is a exercise thing. Uh, uh, did you say exercising? Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Aerobic, aerobic. Um, I don't like um, it's a uh, um, watching TV. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Uh, but if uh, I am sleeping. <laughs> you prefer but sleeping. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I got <laughs> Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much, Susanna. That's all right. I hope you get home safe and sound. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started. Thank you so much for your intros. Uh, thank you for the information you already shared. It's really nice to listen to you. Really nice to listen to the way you communicate. So pretty, pretty cool. Now, guys, let's get started. As I mentioned before, today we're just going to work a little with some vocabulary, um, general definitions. We're going to be trying to define some words. Um, and we are going to be working a little bit with uh, fluency activity by the end of today's session, all right? So um, to get started, I have one exercise for you. And uh, for these guys, I need you to get a pen, get a pencil, get a piece of paper, or if you prefer your cell phone, that's okay. You can use your phone or you can use a word, a doc, whatever works for you. The, I am super old school, so I, I am definitely more comfortable with a pen, a pencil, right? and something I can write on. So let me know when you're ready. We are going to do a little vocabulary review, all right? For the, uh, but these are like short activities. So it is going to be timed. I'm gonna take the time so we can complete the activity. And uh, let me know when you're ready, guys. Do you have a pen ready? Do you have a piece of paper ready? 
Are you ready? <laughs> Are you yes. ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay, super, super nice. So we are going to just review vocabulary super quick. All right. Um, this, is going, it, this is going to be one minute activities. So all the different categories that I will tell you, they are gonna take one minute. So you have a minute to write 10 words. So write 10 words, right? For each category, I will tell you. When the time is over, we start writing. You're not supposed to use a dictionary. You're not supposed to use a material. It is just quick thinking, right? Without hesitating, without thinking that much, just go ahead and write the words that come to your mind. So let's get started, guys. Um, I have my uh, I have my timer. So whenever you listen to um, a sound, some music here, time is over and we stop writing. So let's get started. Number one, guys, write. 10 words for the categories. So number one, name 10 sea animals. Oh, I'm missing one A. So you have one minute, guys. You have one minute and name 10 sea animals. So in your notebook, write super quick 10. When you finish, say finish and we stop writing. Only animals that live in the sea or in the ocean or in the water. So sea animals. You have 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, time's over. Okay, guys, time's over. Let's stop it. How many did you write? How many did you make? Five. Oh, five. Okay, okay. That's not a bad number. Okay. If you have ever seen the SpongeBob and the yeah. SquarePants, so pr probably, you know, you relate a lot. You remember a lot. So what animals do you have that live in the water right? or animals that live in the sea? Besides okay. fish. Shark. Shark, uh huh. Seal. Seal, Crab. very nice. Crab. Crab. Sea shell. Dolphin. Sea shells. Yellowfish. Turtle. Yellowfish. Turtle, uh huh. Dolphin. 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 Yes. Whale. Tiger. Octopus. Whale. Octopus. Whale. Octopus. Shark. Whale. Shark. Okay. Sea star. No sé. I don't know. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> what is the animal? Estrella de mar. Sí, star. Ah, yeah. Star, star. Actually, it's a starfish. Uh huh. A starfish. A starfish. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like Patrick. 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 I'm forgetting his name. Patrick, I think. Patrick. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So it's like super short, right? Remember to write ten the fastest you can. Guys, let's go with the rest. It doesn't matter if you cannot make 10, if you make five, six, that's okay. The idea is just to activate your brain. Next one, guys. Name 10 means of transportation. 10 means of transportation. Transportation. 10 means of transportation. One minute. Go, go, go. <laughs> No grabamos. Car. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Time's over. Okay, guys, time's over. <laughs> How many do you have? How many means of transportation were you were you able to to get? I have seven. Seven. Yeah. That's a good number. Okay. I have eight. 
Hey, all right, very nice. So what do you have? We got car, we got motorcycle, train. what else? Train, train, train. boat, boat, boat. Bike. airplane, bike, airplane, jet, helicopter, helicopter, motorcycle, motorcycle, bicycle, 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 bicycle. submarine, submarine, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's a means of transportation, but in a way, transport people. Mm. Okay. Okay. What else? Plane. Plane. Okay. Motorcycle. Anything else? You got like a kayak. Uh huh. Oh. So you got. Oh. Okay. A bus. Yeah. A bus. <laughs> a coaster. Tatiana. Train. A train. Somebody yes. says. That. I think somebody mentioned it. Um, and something that we don't have in El Salvador, and who knows if we will get it. Subway. Subway, exactly. So that is super common in Europe. All right. Very nice. So seven, eight is not a, it's not a bad number. Let's go with the next one, guys. It's only one minute. Wait a second. Where did I put it? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next. Let's go with next. So you have a minute, guys. Name, no, this is right. Write 10 words to describe your personality. 10 words to describe your personality. One minute, go. 10 words to describe your personality. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one, time's over. Time's up, guys, time's up. Okay, uh, I don't know how easy, how difficult you will find this part. I don't know how you describe yourself, but uh, pretty much it's just adjectives, right? So guys, what can you tell us about your personality? Angry. Oh my God, that is the first word that came to you. <laughs> okay, angry. Okay, okay, friendly, angry, what else? Confident. Loyal. Confident. Loyal. Fine. Huh? Fine. Gently. Gentle. Fine. Impressive. Uh, polite. Yeah. Polite. Funny. Funny. Energy. Energetic. <laughs> Friendly. Responsible. Friendly. Friendly. Okay. Smart. Hold your Smart. Smart. Oh, smart. Okay. Smart. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Hang oh my god, <laughs> so hungry is part of okay, okay. Good listener. So I a good listener. So I have to understand you are always hungry. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, let's go with the last. So this is going to be the last. Give me one moment. Do, 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 do. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, guys. And this is, I guess, very easy. Maybe too easy. All right. So you have, guys, one minute. All right. Write the name of 10 vegetables. So I'm sorry. I cannot write it. I don't know what's going on. So 10 vegetables, guys. 10 vegetables. 10 vegetables. There you go. Thirty seconds. Oh, 
five, four, three, two, one. And time is over, guys. So how many vegetables were you able to get? Three. Three. Six. Six. Only six. six. Okay, what do you have? Four. Okay, tomato. that's not bad. Okay, tomato. And potato. Onion. Potato, potato. onion. Green pepper. Chili pepper. Cucumber. Chili pepper. Carrot. Cucumber. No, no, no. Eggplant. Eggplant. Zucchini. Zucchini. Mm -hmm. Carrot. Carrot, yes. What else? It's broccoli. Coconut. Broccoli, squash, yes. Potatoes, sweet potato. Actually, for me, the potato. Sweet potato, okay. For me, the potato. potato, it, it, doesn't potato. A, <laughs> it doesn't a vegetable. Which one? Sweet potato? Yeah. No, the potato. Potato. Is, is that a fruit? Uh, no, I mean. Uh, ah yes, I got it. It's not considered uh -huh, because it goes under the under the the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because it goes underground. Oh, but let's consider. Yeah, sweet potato. <laughs> you may be right about it. Uh huh. Uh, but let's say that it's a vegetable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very nice. But I think we kind of get it. We kind of checked some vocabulary so that is really nice because today guys uh, one of the first activities we will be doing is giving definitions um one of the hardest points here is whenever we are trying to give definitions right when a person asks you what's that and we're like oh my god how do i explain this so we gotta try to work a little bit with some uh, definitions today how are we going to do it? I have here a list of words that I am almost, almost 100% sure that you identify. I have animals, I have verbs, I have words that you may be familiar with. But the thing is that we may know what that is in Spanish. What about trying to explain to a person in English? So how would you explain um, some of this? First, I have here some prompts. So if we are talking about a person, we can use expressions like it is a person who, we normally use that expression. It is something that, it is an expression that, it is a verb that, it is a word that, it is a place where, when we're talking about places, or it is an animal that. First of all, guys, um, look at the words, please. Look at the list of words I have for you and tell me if you do not identify any of these expressions is the do you identify all the words that are here teacher i don't know if the don't pull my legs is an idiom because i understand the meaning but i don't know if it is a, an idiom mm -hmm. yes it is Okay, yes, uh, that is. is the only uh, sentence. I I I know the meaning, but I don't know if it but is, it is. The, the, the sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it is an expression, actually. It's an idiom. Mm -hmm. One of the most common, probably, that we can use. Uh -huh. uh, guys, anything else besides don't pull my legs? Or are you pulling my legs? Do you identify the rest? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very nice. Oh, I'm glad. I'm super glad. Okay, so the question is, how would you explain these words to another person? So what is the meaning? How would you explain this? And we're gonna try to do it the fastest way you can, all right? For example, if I ask you, hey guys, what is a spit? It's, it is something that that people do when don't like something that it maybe. Okay, no, oh, I like that. All right, very nice. Sounds really good. But guys, there is a little trick in here. All right. So in order to explain these words, in order to explain the meaning of them, we have only thirty seconds to do it. All right. So it means that whatever explanation you can give, you have time limit. So you gotta do it the fastest you can, all right? Um, so if your 30 seconds are over uh, and you haven't completed the definition, that's all right. 
uh, you stop, right? It's only 30 seconds, 30 seconds, super, super quick, right? Uh, but we are going to do this in groups. Um, if there is a word that you don't really get, oh, that's okay. You can ask your classmates, you know, you can take turns practicing them. All right, please take a screenshot, take a picture of this. And remember, you have only 30 seconds to try to explain the meaning of the words. Whatever, uh, if you want to give an example, if you want to use these prompts or these expressions, it's okay but 30 seconds, guys, really, really quick, really fast. So the idea is that you don't think in Spanish, that you don't translate them, that you just go and say it the, the fastest way you can. Mm, I'm going to give you, let me see, let me see. Okay, so we're gonna make some groups. Uh, if you already took a picture um, or a screenshot, uh, let's go to the groups. Let's join the groups. Try to explain these expressions to your classmates. And then we come back and we are going to do a full round here. So go, guys. 30 seconds. Remember, only 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So go, go.
Hi, Mr. Palma. Oh, hello. Hello, teacher. I have issues with my, my, my connection because when I was working, uh, I I left the break room. Don't worry, don't worry. I totally understand. And uh, But the good thing is that you're back. And okay. so the guys in the break rooms were practicing just some vocabulary yes. and they were like pretty cool. And they also shared the vocabulary in the WhatsApp group. So you can take a look at some of the words in the WhatsApp group. Uh, give me one second. Let me also present them here so we can take a look at them. Um, it's just vocabulary. It's just a vocabulary review thing. So give me one moment. And let me present it over. Okay, this is the one. Uh, mm, let's see, okay, everybody's back. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much. So thank you for coming back. I guess that in general, we kind of got the word, all right? And I'm super happy for that. Now, the thing is the following. Mm, it is super common that we normally uh, translate things from English, from Spanish to English. And we go word, word, word by word. So what we are going to try to avoid today is that we are going to try to go fast, give the definition fast, don't translate it, just try to get it, try to bring it out of your head, all right? So um, I told you to have 30, 20 seconds to, um, to explain it. No, 30 seconds, I think I said, to try to explain them to your classmate. We are going to reduce the time and I'm going to give you 20 seconds, guys, to try to explain what the word is. Let's do it at random. Let me select some words. Let me select some people and try to explain the word to us. Um, if you don't remember, if you don't know, it's okay. Invent it, guys, make it up. <laughs> so the idea is just talk about them without translating that much. Uh, so let me go here by the order you appear, guys. So Mr. Palma, you're the first. <laughs> okay, Mr. Palma, what is um what is employer? Employee. Oh. No, 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 employer. What is employer? You have 20 seconds. Uh, One, two, okay. three, go. Uh, it's a person who uh... go, go, go fast, fast. Invented. If you don't remember, make it up. No problem. Okay. Who uh, uh, hire um, a person that needs a. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. To, to, <laughs> okay. Uh, you were, you were our first try. Exactly. It is not the same, you know, when you have time and you need to work and think a little faster, but you did it nicely. It is a person who hired people, a person, a company. Sometimes uh, we work for call centers or we work for outsourcing companies, but the employer is like who hires you, right? That is the one. Thank you, Mr. Palma. Select one person, please. Okay. Uh, I select to Diana. Diana, thank you so much. All right, Diana, let's go with it. What is a weapon? Explain weapon to us, please. 20 seconds. Uh, it is something that you can use to kill someone. Oh, very nice. <laughs> that was fast. I will reduce it to 10. <laughs> very nice. Good job, Diana. Uh, what is next? Select another person. Select another person, please. OK, uh, Jorge. Hmm? OK, so Jorge, let's go with you. What is a case? One, two, three, go. Uh, it is something that you can use to cover other stuff. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue, continue. Um, and also could be bad, could be bigger than the the thing that that you put inside. Uh, bigger than the thing that you put inside. Yes, yes, that works. Okay. So for example, when you have like some glasses or glasses, you put them in your case, or when you have pencil pens, you put them in a case. Okay, okay, very nice. Jorge, who is next? 20 seconds. Christian. 
Christian. Okay, Christian, let's go with you. Um, what is the meaning of the expression a piece of cake? Go. The expression a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Um I, I can explain what is a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> the, the expression, it make it up, invent it, make it up, no problem. I don't know. It's something that you can uh, do. I, I don't know, please. I don't know what is the expression. <laughs> but you yeah, gave it a try, no problem. A piece of cake is it's the expression so easy. easy. Exactly, <laughs> very easy. Oh, that's okay. a piece of cake. Uh -huh. So that is the expression you use. <laughs> I think for easy. Give you a piece of cake. <laughs> so, <easy. laughs> so that is easy. Very nice. Okay, okay. next one. Christia, who's next? Who's the next victim? Um, Norma. Okay, Norma, let's go with you. Guys, um, I don't know if you are familiar with this expression, layback. Let's give it a try. Norma, layback. What's that? Um, Invent it, make it up. Tell us something. Tell us something. It's a, it's a person with you maintain relax. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, exactly. It's a person who normally is very relaxed. It's a person who doesn't care, I would say. But yeah, okay, that will work. Thank you. Norma, who's next? Select the next victim, please. And the last victim. Um, Wendy. <laughs> okay, Wendy. So, Wendy, what is grass? I don't know. The... Grass. That expression? I don't know. Invent it. Make it up. Invent it, Salome. It's no problem. What's grass? No, 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 okay. Make it up. Guys, do you want a helper? Alguien le quiere ayudar? What's grass? Me, teacher. Something that grows yes. on For example, so okay. something can they uh, sell, please don't step the grass. Oh, okay, exactly. So grass is like the bad uh, thing that grows in this ground. Me, yes, teacher. it is something that no, nobody want to do in the backyard of her house. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's a really good definition. Exactly. Okay, guys, what are why are we doing this? Um, as I told you, normally it's super common that we translate things, and the only way to push that, only the only way to stop thinking in Spanish, is presionándonos, right? Is to push ourselves. To think faster, to go faster, to just go and try to say something. Uh, so very good job with this. Now, just a couple of expressions here. A, a piece of cake, that is an idiomatic expression, right? That is um, an expression that means easy. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a piece of cake. The exam is a piece of cake. So easy, super easy. Don't pull my legs. What is don't pull my legs? That's another expression. No, literally, I don't pull my legs. No, what's that? Mm -hmm. I, I think this expression is when you want to someone do something fast. Mm, I don't know. I think like, it's when I, I, they I, force you to do something. Uh -huh. if, when you make a press, a press for someone. Mm, no, I no, guess it's, it's, it's something like uh, I don't want to to be joking with me. Mm, okay, it's related to that. So, have you ever heard the expression "Are you pulling my legs"? No, not really. I have heard, yeah. but actually, I, I, I got or I, I, I think that the I understood like uh, the person that said it doesn't like the the joking or something like that in that mm -hmm. moment or. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. We have this word that is joke. So don't pull my legs is related to joke. Exactly. Oh, okay. So if you just say, are you pulling my legs? It's like, are you playing with me? So mm. Are you joking? Oh, oh, are, are you, you for kidding? sure? Are I'm you kidding, kidding me? Mm -hmm. are, you kidding? are you kidding yes. me? Okay. So don't pull my legs is like, don't joke. Don't make jokes on that, right? So don't play with me. Don't play with my feelings. Um, that is super common. Probably you will hear this a lot. Like, are you pulling my legs? Like, are you serious? Uh-huh. So are you kidding? Really? Right? Really? Uh-huh. But like that expression, are you, are you playing? So 
that are you pulling okay. my legs? Okay, what is the other one? Oh, bump. Um, bump can be like somebody hit you and you got like a big uh, thingy on your <laughs> head. That can be a bump. But also it is super common in El Salvador because everybody is speeding. Everything, everybody's going super fast. So it is common that in the street, on the road, there are bumps. So you need to um, reduce your speed a little bit, go slowly onto the bump, right? So you don't crash your car. So bump is something that is on the road or that is on the, on the street, I would say. Super common, right? Uh, what was the other word I heard? I think the rest are really nice. They're like really good. All right, guys, very good. Really, really good. Um, this part is um, a grammatical component that is in the material for this module, but we are not going to work, guys. Um, I don't like working grammar just for you to know. I, I like to work grammar so for you to use it. So this is the first topic that is in the material for you to know. And that is called relative classes, adjective classes. We will check that later. But very nice job with this. Now take a look at the following. Here we have the word laid back. Um, I think Norma said laid back is relaxed. And it's OK. It's all right. But a laid back person is like to come, right? Uh, they don't care much. Do you think you are a layback person? Do you consider yourself a layback person? Yeah. No. Yes. No. no. Are you no. like, hey, we have homework? I would like to be like. We have things like. Relax. It is easy. The layback uh, person is like that. The person that Do doesn't worry for uh, almost anything. Yeah, exactly. They take things too easy. Uh -huh. But yes. it's not that they don't care. They just whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that is laid back. It, it now, uh -huh. they, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say they don't care, but they don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, um, what about personality? In the previous exercise, I asked you for 10 words to describe your personality. Uh, words may be positive or probably negative words. Everybody has weakness, everybody has a strength. What are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? What are some things that you don't like about your personality, guys? Um, I heard that most of you have a career or a master, so, okay, perfect. Everybody has been working for 10 years, more than that. So how do you describe yourself? Let's take a look at some expressions here. Let's take a look at some adjectives. Guys, repeat with me, please. Anxious. Anxious. Naughty. 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 Just be careful because naughty, naughty can also have a negative meaning, uh, can have a sexual naughty. connotation, but naughty can be a bad person too. So just be careful with the word naughty. So we have naughty. Next one, stubborn. 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 What is a stubborn? stubborn? What do you think? I am super stubborn, by the way. Are you a stubborn? <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. No. Not really. Let's go with next. Impatient. 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 I am impatient. impatient. Okay. Sensitive. 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 Intelligent. 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 And nice. 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 Nervous. Nervous. Emotional. Nervous. Emotional. Are you emotional? Mm -hmm. Yes. Normally, one time of the month, I'm emotional. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Very specific moments. Okay, <laughs> okay. But tempered. But tempered. So, um, we can use the word or the or the expression angry, but in personality, it is better if we say bad temper, right? Like, don't talk to me because I get angry. So I am bad tempered. Are you bad tempered? Normally no, but normally no, but could be okay. <laughs> Probably <laughs> as, it depends on the situation. <laughs> well, oh my god, oh, everything was a bunch. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, there is another word that we don't have it here, but it's really important too. That is moody, and I think that this applies for women a lot. Uh, I don't want to generalize, but moody is that that mm. we change. Mm, and we can feel okay. Uh, we are not bipolar. 
we just uh, we don't feel okay. We are okay, but we are not okay. So that's moody. <laughs> oh, mean. Are you a mean person, guys? Mean. Are you mean? Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Kind it of bad. It depends on the person. <laughs> it depends on the person. Okay. Let's continue with the rest. Distracted. So repeat with me, guys. Distracted. <laughs> Rude. 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 Remember that rude is not um, rudo, no way. So rude is like a, a person who is really disrespectful, right? What so a person else? who is saying something bad, uh -huh, grosero, like bad behaved person. Okay, next one, discreet. 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 Crazy. 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 I think we're, everybody's crazy sometimes. Untidy. Untidy. Look at the picture. Look at the boy. What is untidy? A messy person. A messy person. Correct. A messy person. A person who doesn't care about the physical appearance. Mm -hmm. Next one. Chicky. 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 Do you have children? Do you have boys, girls, sons, daughters? Are they cheeky? Are they like, oh, hi, mom, I want a toy, buy me a toy. Are they kind of cheeky? No, spoiled? No, not much? Candy, maybe. Okay, okay. So that's kind of cheeky, right? That they don't behave properly. Or we have another word that is pampered. Pampered, right? Uh, that is like Pampered. when you give your babies everything they want. Oh, father, I want PlayStation 5, the new one. Don't worry, baby, I have it for you. So that is a pamper person. So do you pamper your babies? I don't have babies. You don't have babies. Do you pamper yourself? <laughs> do you buy whatever you want? <laughs> uh -huh. Or your parents sometimes, right? Sometimes you were like, oh, mom, I want a cell phone. And your mom gave it, gave you a cell phone. So maybe you were pampered. Uh-huh. So either way. All right. Uh cheerful. Let's move on with this. Cheerful. 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 We are going to change the word happy for cheerful. So if you say I'm happy, don't say I'm happy anymore. Let's say I'm cheerful. Okay. That means ooh, I'm upbeat. I'm energetic all the time. So I am in good mood. So change the Yes. Sorry, you can put the image complete. That was. Uh, aren't they complete? Oh, I don't. I don't see it. It's complete. Mm, give me one second. Second. Are you in the computer or are you in your yes. cell phone? Yes. Mm, and the computer. Is... Mm, it is yeah. complete, but I give me a second. Complete. You can see it, but, but really give me a second. Yes, teacher. No, me too. Probably the menu, right? Probably you yes, have yes. the menu there. Oh, okay, 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 cool. cool. Thanks, sorry. All right, no problem, no, it's okay, no worries. So we have that word that is cheerful. So don't say happy, let's say cheerful. Don't say angry, let's say uh, bad temper, right? Because that's personality. Next one, energetic. 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 Mm -hmm. Optimistic. 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 Mm -hmm. Pessimistic. 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 Mm -hmm. Unpleasant. 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 What do you think this is? What is unpleasant? Look at the person. Mm -hmm. What do you think? A place can be unpleasant. It's Bathroom. It's like. <laughs> huh? Like yes. stress. Like a stress. Mm -hmm. Disgusting no. person. Yes, like, like a person that is not good to be with. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. a person that is kind of bad, you don't like the person, right? That is unpleasant. Maybe because it's too noisy. Maybe because the person is untidy. It's just you don't like that person. That person is not good to be in that environment. So we have unpleasant. Next one, talkative. Talkative. Or talkative, right? Are you talking like you? Like you? Yes. <laughs> you know, to be honest, in classes, I'm talkative because I need to speak. But normally, I'm not talkative. It depends. Well, it depends, as you said. <laughs> it depends. If it is a gossip and the gossip is good, oh, yes, I can speak a lot. All right. Uh, come. Next one. Come. 
Come. Come. Eliminate mm -hmm. L. Come. 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 All right. There you Come. go. Questioning. Questioning. In Spanish, we use a word that is kind of determination. In English, we use the word passionate. So if you say, oh, soy persistente, we don't say persistent much, but you can say, I am passionate. So I am passionate. Mm -hmm. I am passionate about my job. I am passionate about the things I like, about cooking, so passionate. When you put all your heart and effort there. The last one, guys, proud. Proud. But I think you know the word. Proud. Okay. Proud. So now what are three positive and three negative characteristics of your personality, guys? How would you describe yourself without don't say friendly, don't say happy, don't say angry? What else is another word? But tell me something super strong about your personality. Um, so like the, the best asset, the best strength that you have. Guys, how do you describe yourself? Um, I, I am a passionate person with my work. Oh, you're passionate. All right. Nice. What's the most important characteristic you have? Um, in my case, for example, I am super stubborn. So that is bad. I know. But when I get an idea in my head, I it's really hard for me to change it. So um, I'm super stubborn. Uh, I am absent-minded sometimes. So absent-minded is like when you don't pay attention to what is around you, right? That you forget everything. So I'm super absent-minded. I can be walking, you know, I'm looking to the horizon, but I'm not paying attention. You don't pay attention. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, so that's absent-minded. People are like, hey, Julie, and I'm like, hi. But then I'm like, who was that? So that's super absent minded. You don't pay See, attention. The, the horizon. Mm -hmm. I just look at the horizon and I keep on going. <laughs> so I think those are the strongest uh, parts that I don't like about me. Uh, I don't like that I'm stubborn. I don't like that I'm absent minded, right? But talking about the good things I have is that I am a, a really good team player. So I can work with a lot of people, I get along with them, and that's all right for me, right? So I'm a team player. And probably the other one is that I'm a, let me think, probably this one. So when I want something, I'm super passionate about the things I want. So I go for them. Guys, what about you? Can you think of three positive, three negatives about you? I'll give you one minute so you can uh, make a list super quick. You can write them down, you can select them, and there you go. Probably they are here, probably they are not here. So three positive, three negative, guys. Stubborn. Stubborn? Even though it's stubborn, I would say it's bad. What do you think? Is it bad or good? Bad. Bad, right? Because it's like, if you say, oh, this is gray, and you know the color is white, but if you say gray, it is gray. So I would say it's bad. I don't think it would be good. Um, cheerful. I'll give you 30 seconds just to finish up. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so um, what are some, let's start with positive. What are your positive, what do you have to bring to the world or to your company or to your family? What are your strongest, um, what are your weaknesses? I'm sorry, your strength, that would be. So what are your strength, guys? Optimist. Oh, very nice, you're optimistic, an optimistic person, okay. Yes. Strength. Uh, in my case, teacher, yes, I, I chose energetic, oh, optimistic, and okay. passionate. Like uh, okay, uh, what are you passionate about? Uh, when I run, for example, or oh, in okay. New York. Nice, nice, super I good. Okay. Best. So you're optimistic, you're passionate, and you're energetic. All right, very nice. Guys, what about the rest? What's something positive? In my case, like I said, I'm passionate about my work. Mm -hmm. um, I consider myself intelligent. And okay. when I drink coffee, I am very energetic. <laughs> okay, coffee mm -hmm. and a lot of sugar or a soda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, you get super upbeat. All right, very nice. Anybody else? Teacher, in my case, uh, the, the three negative, mm -hmm. uh, oh. I, I am considered anxious. Oh, oh. what do you mean by anxious? Do you get anxiety? Do you get anxious all the time? Uh, in some time, some, uh, in some case. For example, what is something that makes you anxious? Anxious. Uh, when I, for example, when I, I am uh, waiting for a, a one date uh, mm -hmm. or one hour, I'm, I'm waiting for something, I am mm -hmm. anxious. <laughs> uh, may, like may when you have an important event. Important event, yes. But ah, okay. I, when I need to to grab early, teacher, mm -hmm. really, I I can't uh, to sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep yet. I know the feeling. <laughs> okay, so any you patient. don't even sleep. All right, all right. Also, any patient in 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 specific uh, mm -hmm. situation, uh, I consider I I have I have a bad temper. Oh, so you're bad tempered. It's part of my personality. It's okay. part of my personality. Yes, but in, but, the, in the positive situation, I am uh, I am considered I am an intelligent, mm -hmm. energetic because I, I like to play soccer. Okay. And nice. Always uh, I, I am optimistic. Mm -hmm. Optimistic. Okay. So you're an optimistic person. Okay, very nice. Sounds really good. So negative things. So you are a little bit of a bad tempered person. Okay, very nice. Guys, mm -hmm. anybody else who wants to tell us something negative that you would like to change probably? Something that you don't like? I'm yeah. evaluating myself uh, and I'm just saying that I'm kind of, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. I can be, or I want, I like to be a nice person, but I also, I can, a mean person. Are you a mean uh, person? No, I, I like to be nice, but sometimes I can be a mean person. Uh, for example? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if I've, I got the, uh, the correct meaning of mean, but it's, it's like to be a, a, a rough person with, 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 with somebody else. Yes, Sometimes. it can be rough, it can be sarcastic, yeah. so it can I, be, so, yes. So mm -hmm. I like to be nice, but but sometimes I get, I turn uh, mean. Also, uh, mm -hmm. I, I like to be optimistic, I like to be a proud person, but also when, uh, I also I like to be a, a cheerful, but sometimes when, when I 
thinking uh, on everything, on problems, on mm -hmm. uh, all the all the uh, adult life for the <laughs> for the responsibilities. Okay. Uh, sometimes I I turn in bad temper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in when I think uh, from some people, some person that uh doesn't be with me anymore so sometimes mm -hmm. i turn emotional or the stool board uh, oh. so i kind of uh, it's not uh, uh, uh also i uh, i the most of the time i like i i want to be or like to be a a calm person okay but people don't cooperate <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay I got that. All right. Yes, right. It is super common. We want to become, we want to behave, but people don't help that much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mario. Uh, yes, Tatiana. Uh, I think I I am sometimes an impatient, impatient person. Okay. And I think it's a, it's a bad thing because we have to wait because uh, some things that happen in the right moment so i think that is that that is not so good because when you are pay, impatient you know you can do the things wrong i think so that that i think that is a good it no, it's not a good thing for me you can rush like too much more than necessary okay thank you so much all right uh guys very nice actually i really like the way you express your ideas which is really nice now i have just one little homework assignment for you um and the homework assignment is not like long big no it's not like that just is like this what what are the characteristics of a good boss. Since we are talking about a personality, right? We are talking about you having good things, you having something that we would like to change. I don't know how many of you are managers or juniors, right? Or working human resources, uh, or you have some subordinates under your charge. So the question is, what are the characteristics of a good boss? Think about it. If you are a boss, think about your characteristics. Are you a good boss? Are you a mean boss? Are you a toxic boss? So <laughs> what kind of boss are you, all right? And we share them tomorrow. Obviously, um, you can read, you can go to internet, you can look for characteristics so you can get more vocabulary, right? So you can read a little bit about it and we share some ideas tomorrow. Um, guys, so that is for tomorrow, just that. What are the characteristics of a good boss? Uh, before you leave, let me just go ahead and take attendance. Uh, just, I think you are familiar with the process. I call out your name. You just give me a present or hi or something. I'm here uh, para propósitos de calidad y para supervisión de INSA for two. So give me a second. Ana Raquel is not here, right? No la vi. Ariela creo que tenía problemas getting in. Uh, Claudia Melendez. Solo regalé mi present. Thank you so much. Cristia Erazo. Present. Thank you. Damaris. I didn't see Damaris. Eh, Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss, ¿cómo se lee su apellido? How do you read it? Cereguino. Okay. Got it. Eh, Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos. Ah, sí, me parece Juan Carlos. Eh, Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Your teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you, Manuel. Eh, Maria Concepcion. Not here. Eh, Maria Elena. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Mario, si Mario está ahí. You are there. Eh, Mario Jose Valle. Presente. Wait, tengo dos. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. No, my goodness, is not here. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nelson Gavarrete. Present, Miss. Thank you, Mr. Gavarrete. Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you, Olga. That's not here. Silvia. Present. Susana. 
Tatiana. Susana si estaba acá. Yes, she's there. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana is there. And Wendy. So she was right there. Thank you. All right, guys. So, solamente antes de irse, eh, before you leave, I'm going to, let me take a picture of the starting of this module, right? If you can help me with your cameras a moment. Yes, arreglas el cabello. <laughs> que no salga el blanco alrededor de los ojos. Let me take the picture so you can share it um, in your social networks. Eh, Juan Carlos, eyes. no sé si puede activar su camarita un momento. Susana, just a minute para que no salga en negro. So you don't uh, appear with the camera off. Creo que alguien se fue. Tiene some barilla. Okay. So say cheese. One, two, three. Okay. Ya quedó. Nelson no sonrió. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. Ya les comparto la picture. I'm going to share that. Um, solamente pedirles que empecemos a trabajar en la plataforma, right, a su ritmo, para que después no se nos vaya acumulando. Mario, um, le comento el día de mañana eh, para que tengamos la sesión one on one cómo trabajamos la plataforma para que usted ingrese y ya comience a trabajarlo también, right, que es ah, un material adicional. De hecho, eh, dentro. Eh, sí, de hecho uh, oh. tuve un par de problemas porque uh, no sé por qué razón no no funcionaba eh, el correo y y, mm. y la contraseña, pero okay. uh, me comuniqué set. con alguien y ya me ayudaron y ingresé Super. ahora. De hecho, vaya. hice la, uh, la primera unidad uno. tarea. No, no, la primera tarea. O sea, But, vaya, guys, yes, pueden avanzar todo lo que puedan, right? Mi recomendación es siempre que avancen, que la terminen antes. Eh, si pueden en un fin de semana, terminenla toda, right? Y nos quedamos solo con la práctica. Because recordemos que también es, es nota eh, la, la plataforma, right? It's, it's mandatory pero podemos avanzar todo lo que podamos y nos quedamos solo con la práctica, ¿all right? Gracias a todos. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to meet you and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a Thank good you. night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See tomorrow. you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. 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 See you tomorrow.